welcome back to Force Education. This is Ed. Today we're going to be talking once more about METX, known as Metan EdTex. Now, this talk here I did talk about before. We do have a couple of updates that I do want to give you that are very critical to this one's success. So Basically, if you've never heard about METX, it's a Chinese stock that primarily focuses on delivering English language and future skills training for Chinese students and professionals. So they have three main different industry services so or brands. So Metan, which is an adult and junior ELT services, ABC, which is primarily a junior ELT services, and Show, which is an online ELT services. Now, they did do a reverse merger with EdTex, and that's why you have the Metan dash EdTex or hyphen EdTex. And this company here is currently trying to diversify into cryptocurrency. So, coming in fresh out of the press today, Metan Holdings Group Limited to establish a joint venture with industry experts to create a cryptocurrency mining company. So, basically, they seen the stock market and they said, hey, Let's actually just go on and create a cryptocurrency and I'll tell you exactly why or create an industry uh, tapping or a company tapping into the cryptocurrency industry. And I'll explain exactly why they're doing that. That's not more of an evolving kind of mechanism, but more of a survival mechanism. And if successful, they definitely can survive. So first off, right on to here, they announced that they had entered an agreement uh, with one of the leading companies to go on with industry experts to establish a joint venture specializing in research and development and production and sales of cryptocurrency mining equipment. And that agreement was signed on December 20th. The industry experts have extensive experience, diversified backgrounds and proven track record in cryptocurrency and blockchain industry. The vice president of Hummingbird Mining Machine is an expert in cryptocurrency mining and has rich resources and experience in the developments and supply chain of cryptocurrency mining machines. And the former SMO, uh, Chief Marketing Officer of Chain Plus and Dragon Social in Hong Kong, has an extensive practical experience in blockchain industry and cross-border marketing and sales. Now they do talk a little bit more, but basically right here, the company agreed for $3 million investments in joint venture in exchange of 20% or 21% equity stake in the joint venture, entitling the company to its pro rata share of the joint venture's earnings and dividends, which if there are any disturbed or if any to be distributed will be paid on an annual basis. Now, another thing I do want to talk about is their earnings, which also came in a month ago. We did talk about this one before, but there are some key levels so they invested $3 million. How much is that to this company? So you're able to see here, and this is actually in RMBs, but between brackets, revenues are somewhat in the, the tens of million, to be specific, 30 million. Now, it's definitely a net loss, not a net profit overall. So that is something uh, to kind of consider. They're, they're actually net negative. And when you're looking into their fundamentals, yes, the price of their sales is 0 0.69. Their shares outstanding is 341, but you're multiplying it by 0 0.26 share per share, which really comes down to a smaller market cap than someone would, for instance, think. So their current market cap is 89.7 million. So they basically are investing roughly around 3% of their company, which is not bad in its own sense. Now, another thing I do again want to talk about is currently this stock price is 26 cents. So for some, that is low. It is definitely a penny stock. And with penny stock and not on trading on NASDAQ, there is something called compliance, which basically they need to be above $1 for more than 30 days, at least at a time, uh, 10 days to regain compliance, 30 days to lose compliance. And currently, Metan Holdings lost their compliance back on the seventh month on the seventh day of 2021. So it's been a while. And speaking of which, I did go back and try to find the compliance uh, paragraph. And right on here, they did receive on July 14th, uh, they mentioned that they did receive from NASDAQ the compliance or for 180 days or until January 3rd, 2022 to regain the compliance to regain compliance, the company needs to at least 
have a closing bid of around more than $1 for a minimum of 10 consecutive business days. In the event that the company does not regain compliance by January 3rd, 2022, the company may be eligible for additional time to regain compliance or may face delisting. So, one of three things are going to happen with this one. One, or more likely to happen, one of them is that they get a 100-day extension that will push down the puck, but at some point, they might actually do need to do the second option, a reverse split. A reverse split is never good for the stock. It has a history of reverse split, and it's never good. Every time a company does a reverse split, not a split like Apple and Tesla, I'm talking about a reverse split where they basically consolidate the amount of shares. So let's say you had 20 shares trading at $1, a 20 to one reverse split, you'd have one share trading at $20. So that's exactly what's gonna most likely happen. And this stock would then take a beating and the stock would most likely drop at least 30%, 20% from what I've seen. The last option is this stock somehow by kind of almost a miracle, people kind of start focusing on the cryptocurrency and think, hey, this company will be very successful and maybe it just even just gets pumped and dumped and it trades above $1 for 10 consecutive days, regain compliance. Now, that's a little bit unlikely, specifically into coming into around uh, early on January, we're cutting short on time. So a reverse split is more likely, but 180 day extension happens. The least likely option, which is the fourth one that I kind of omitted out of my three, is delisting, which goes to OTC, and that will cause its own problem. It's gonna basically trade for nothing. Now, there is some OTCs that trade for good, but not usually delisted 20 stocks. Institutional buyers, there's nothing there, and let's move on towards technical analysis. But before doing so, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave notifications on for this channel, and drop a like. Now on towards technical analysis. Now from a technical analysis perspective, first off, your general technical indicators showcases that this one is actually in a very much of a bearish rut. Your 200 SMA is above the 50 SMA, which is the first bearish indicator. The second one is that 30 UMA is above 10 SMA. Now on the 80X, it's sitting at 25.78. So. This one here is not really showcasing a strong movement in either direction. The only percent R level is at 77.34, which is basically very close to oversold. William percent R is very similar to what you'd see in an RSI indicator. Now, MACD is sitting very close to zero. It supposedly have gone through a positive reversal attempt on the 16th of December, but currently it's very much on the flat line, not really showcasing much in either direction at least. Momentum. Momentum here is very close to zero. It's kind of, kind of on a dead line. There's nothing really going on. It's at least not negative, so it's more on trading on the sideways. Now, stochastic fast and stochastic slow both suggest that this might be a nice time to buy. It's one of the lowest it's ever been, so there could be a chance for you to make some money on this one. Moving average bands. This one is trading for the moving average bands between 32 cents and 27 cents. Now, on the Bollinger bands, it's between 37 and 22 cents. Now, I was gonna go do Fibonacci retracements like usual, but there's no point when this one was trading at 23.75 only back in around 2022 april and ever since then it's currently trading at almost 100th the level one percent so if you invested in the start you probably lost 99 percent of your money so anyway we're gonna treat it still with price line actions and we're able to see the first level of resistance this one most likely would see is the 26 cents um, now 26 cents upper so 0.265 after that, you're looking at 0.29, and then 0.32, and then upwards to around 0.38, followed by 0 0.46, 0 0.50, going up to 0 0.57, 0 0.61, 0 0.65, 0 0.69, and 0.74. In terms of supports, we're seeing one at 26 cents, 25 cents, and down to around 24 cents. And then comes to the question, Ed, what do you think is going to happen next? Now, in terms of analyst ratings, we don't have any at this level. But what I think is going to happen here, as I mentioned about the reverse split, 
or uh, the bullish news perhaps spiking it up but it did attempt to do that before and it failed multiple times before so in order to get that bullish quarter news and move on to just regaining compliance by the price point it needs to at least jump around 500 percent and it's more likely that this stock will do a high reverse split high by perhaps maybe six to one and i really doubt it will be six to one it's probably going to be around ten to one because they do account for the stock dropping and they don't really want to do multiple reverse splits back to back to back now they did try to attempt putting good news to see if the stock will massively skyrocket above one dollars and it didn't so that keeps me in mind there's two things they're doing they're trying to go for the 100 day extension which we haven't heard any news about it recently at least and then or or instead if that doesn't get approved or they don't go for that they're definitely going for a reverse split that will really hurt your money really hurt your share price what do you think is going to happen here make sure to down in the comments below sure subscribe and like and have a good day now if you're still here on this video make sure to drop down below and join our discord we have a lot of different things going on including for instance members that gives picks for free it's not pump and dumps we just things we think about swings etc we also have really exciting bots uh you can actually use those ones for instance we're just testing out this bot for instance that gives you fibonacci resistance points activities etc and we have a bunch of free things totally free we run on tips here and you can ask me questions suggest stocks etc it's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day